Hi, everyone. Hey, I'm going to share with you my story about swimming. Okay. My brother told me to share a story about water with you. And I decided to share my story about swimming because this sport has been a part of my life in such a way that it has shaped my identity. This is a story about how it all began. When I was six years old, I was allowed to join the Penaqua swim team. This was a neighborhood swim club that my family belonged to forever. I couldn't wait to join the team because my older brother, sisters, and cousins all swam for the team and I wanted to be just like them. I loved swimming. On the first day after practice, I was excited because my cousin Susie was going to walk home with me so we could play together. But while we were at practice, the older kids started giving everyone nicknames. They were just being funny and trying to get to know the little kids. But one of the big kids, who was called Huck Finn, he was really John Finn, but they nicknamed him after the famous Mark, T Mark Twain character. Well, Huck gave Susie the nickname Cranky Helen. She was cranky because the kids could not figure out which of her sisters were twins. Three of them were very close in age and looked very much alike. Susie was twins with Annie, but they thought Annie was twins with Gigi. So Annie was called Twin Birdie 1, Gigi was called Twin Birdie 2, and the real twin, Susie, was called Cranky Helen because she was upset about them being wrong. She really hated this. I remember hiding and feeling lucky. I didn't get a nickname during practice. Then, after practice, we began the long journey home. We had to walk up three steep hills to get there. The first hill was Linwood Avenue. The big kids, including Huck Finn, were pretty far ahead of us, but turned around when they saw Susie with me behind them. They started shouting, Hey, Cranky Helen! And she started to cry. So I started yelling back at them, Shut up, you big bullies! She hates names! She hates that name, and you are me! My yelling at them kind of shocked them. They had noticed me before with all the other kids and because I hid from them, because I hid from them earlier. But there I was, wearing a pink bathing suit, a pink towel, a pink bathing cap, and pink sandals on my feet, shouting so loud and hard I must have looked pink all over. Hence, from that day forward, I became known as Pinky. At the time, I was upset. But the next day of practice, they told me that I was officially the new cheerleader for the team because I was so loud. And I didn't mind being called Pinky. They gave me a big t-shirt that said, the pack is back. Pack is short for Pen Aqua Club. And I led the cheers at every meet from then on. My family and friends still call me Pinky. Some folks over the course of my life never even knew my real name. So there is my story about how from the first day of practice, swimming has affected my life.